that is? No. You wrote it on the window. That's the handle. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. I have an egg that a duck is shrink wrapped in. You can see the duck is trying to hatch out. See? And she can't. So I am fixing to help her hatch and then give her back to her mom. So. Hang on, baby. Zip it, which means I'm gonna go all the way around the egg. And I won't break the little membrane. Okay. There's his little beak, you see? Look, there's his little. Y'all pray. I don't want to get too much blood. Y'all pray. Is Judy gonna hatch it? Is Judy gonna hatch it? Now I gotta get the... Hey, little baby. Hey. You wanna go see your mommy? Okay, y'all. There he is. Looks good. Let's go give him back to his mommy. Look how sweet. Hey. Hey, baby. Now to go wash my hands. I slipped the baby back under mom so that the baby could get really good and dry. It's supposed to pour down rain again today. Y'all. It has poured down rain nonstop for three days. Everything is a complete muddy mess and can't do any cleaning or anything until it stops. Tomorrow, I have a 14-year-old girl that needs volunteer hours. So she will be coming tomorrow to help me around the farm. And I'm hoping it doesn't rain because I do have tours tomorrow. Um, as, as a matter of fact, the tours that are coming were from last Saturday, but it rained them out. So we will see if I'm able to be successful in having a tour on tomorrow. I'm washing my hands. My wonderful husband built me a little sink out here where I can have people scrub their hands after they're done petting animals so that no one gets sick or pink eye. Like sometimes babies touch animals and then they stick their hands in their mouth. So I always make sure that parents know to wash the kids' hands before getting in the car. All right, the hands are all washed up. Now it's time to go let the rest of the animals out now that I've hatched a baby. I've let all the chickens and animals out, so I'm gonna come back in here because I hear the baby chirping a little bit. Let's see. I showed you before that the hen and the duck were fighting over who was gonna be mom. Well, the duck is who the baby is under, so let's check it out. There's the duck, but I hear 
watching over here. I think it's over here, but I noticed there's an egg. Where is that tweeping coming from? She has, are you, she's hatching. That's why she's so mad. So she has b babies starting to hatch. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that tweeping? I can't, I can't tell where it's coming. It's not coming from her, is it? Gosh, all these broody. <laughs> Can't tell where the chirping's coming from. Is your baby okay? The chirping is coming from over here, y'all. <laughs> she she has babies under her. I'm gonna leave her alone because she's all puffed up like she wants to attack me. But I hear chirping coming under from under her. She I don't know how many eggs she's on. But y'all, I'm leaving Wednesday and these people are these babies are hatching. So Shane is gonna have to take care of them and Kayla. I found the chirping. Hey, you better go up here with your mommy. I, okay, I'm giving her back. I'm giving her back. Hang on, don't fight me. She's going back. I knew I heard chirping. <laughs> I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay, so look, she's gonna put that baby back under her. <laughs> the joy of being a farm mom. So now, this is what I have to do. I'm supposed to go to Larry's today, and I was gonna take the dogs to see Larry today, and I'm going to pick up my niece today because she's wanting to spend the weekend with me. So I, I've got to go get duck feed because there's babies. And I gotta go get turkey feed. And I gotta go get chick feed because they're hatching too. So I've got to be prepared. I'm trying to make sure that everything is in place. So then I leave on Wednesday, Kayla and Shane doesn't have to run to the feed store. So I'm making sure that I'm filling up all the buckets. <laughs> I'm telling them what babies are supposed to hatch and so forth. So I have a lot of preparation to do before Wednesday. As I was letting animals out this morning, I noticed that my pea hen that broke her leg didn't look like she felt well. And I'm like, y'all, please don't get sick. I'm not gonna be here. Shane doesn't know what to do. <laughs> like, please. So I am gonna run into the house real quick and get some medicine to go ahead and treat her for the next five days. So I'll be here Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So she'll have enough medicine. And I also noticed that I think this baby turkey over here might be well maybe she was just like wanting to try to breed with her dad i don't know these turkeys are getting really big let me show you look how big so that is a gobbler that is a hen y'all she loves me and shane she every time i turn on the water hose she runs to me. Okay, this is the turkey I think that doesn't feel good. Look. Look. Okay, that's the mama right there, but wait till the mama moves. She doesn't feel good. This turkey right here, I don't think. Let's see. You see how she's kind of puffed up? So I might have to put medicine. Her wings are not dropped though. So anytime that you assess whether an animal, a bird is sick or not, the things that you look at is for runny nose, puffed up, dr wings dropped, discoloring, like maybe their poop is off. And see what I'm noticing, these are her siblings over here. Of course, they're on the other side of the fence. She's staying with mama. So maybe she's just a mama's baby, but I'm gonna show you my turkey that I think is sick. Look, they're starting to gobble. Both of those are males. 
see how pretty they are? Okay, let's go in here. <clears throat> so the peacock enclosure is not finished yet. So I've got to work on that and shut the gate. This one right here is who I think possibly is sick. We have not finished the peacock enclosure because it has been raining every single day. Let me just look and see what I think. It is a muddy mess in here because it's rained all day. I don't see a runny nose, but she sits a lot because she still has a little bit of a limp from breaking her foot or her leg, I guess I should say. So I, I you know what? I'm gonna treat her regardless. I need to go get y'all some food. So I'm gonna put medicine in her water over here to make sure that she's gonna be okay while I'm gone. You see, she's, her wings are not dropped right now. Yeah, they are. Look, I don't know if you can tell. See how her wing is dropped? She's not holding it up. That indicates something's not right. In my experience raising animals, I had, a turkey one time that had broken its foot. No, not the foot. Broke his toe. But he came to me with a broke toe. And he suffered every time it rained, every time it was winter, with arthritis. Just as us human beings, you know, when we break something and arthritis sets up in our hip, back, foot, whatever, um, the weather aggravates it. There's no difference with an animal. So it could be that arthritis is setting up in that leg from it breaking and maybe she's in pain because of the weather. But I don't know because she can't tell me. So I will go ahead and treat her. This medicine that I have is called All-in-One. If you're a farm, listen up. It treats respiratory, coccidiosis, and worms all together. Is that not a miracle? I've posted about it before, but it, sometimes when you can't figure out what's wrong with an animal, it's awesome that it treats all three things at once. So that's what I will be putting in her water. All right, I've set the food out for the peacocks. Now I'm gonna run to the house and go ahead and put some medicine in the water right here for the peacocks. As I'm standing in the peacock enclosure, so I came up, <coughs> excuse me, with a different idea for the peacock enclosure. Let me tell you what it is. Tonight, we will be putting together a little jungle gym right here for the peacocks to play in. They're, they're miserable and not free ranging. They hate it. And it's because they free range their whole life. But with them roaming to my neighbors and my neighbors complaining, it's just not a good fit because I don't want anything to happen to the peacocks. So they're gonna have to get used in here. So I've got to make this as pleasurable as possible. So I am gonna order a new tarp so that it comes over three all the way to here. Cause the jungle gym is seven feet wide. This is 10 feet wide, but they can go roost and play on the jungle gym. Okay, so that's gonna happen tonight. Also, in the next couple of weeks, the tower will be here. And we've been really contemplating like, what would be the best thing for the tower. She is going to have to build the tower here on my property. And the reason is because the tower is going over here on this side of the fence. Well, there's no way to get the tractor in here for Shane to set the tower over here. So I've been thinking about the tower and so forth, and I'm looking for a silo. And in the top of the silo will be another jungle gym for the peacocks to fly high up in the air and roost in the jungle gym. So we're leaning towards trying to find a silo. If we can't find one, 
We're gonna build our own, I think. Cause Shane can weld it together. Thank God for Shane. Thank God for Shane. So the girl that's putting this together is researching what is our best option and what's the most cost effective way to put this tower together for the peacocks. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you. It cannot get here soon enough because these, these poor peacocks are just miserable. And she may have her wings drop just because she's sad from not roosting way up in those pine trees right there. She could just be depressed. And right now there's nowhere to roost in there. But you do one thing at a time and you're like, peacocks, please bear with me. I'm trying to get it to get together. But it will be here, I'm going to say, in the next couple of weeks. So, hopefully when I set up the jungle gym tonight, they'll be happy. Before I go get the medicine, I've got to go open up the education center and check on the bunnies and the little kitty cats. Today, I ordered the little cats. <laughs> little cats. They're grown. Um, I ordered them... Um, a little what do you call it i've never had a cat a tower i ordered them a tower for the education center because i feel like they need something to play with when they're inside the education center so that will be here this week as well all right don't judge me for my medicine cabinet but this is the medicine that i will be using for the peacock all right let's go check on the kitty cats and the bunny see how they're doing well hey kitty kitty Wait, i hear a cricket what you doing kitty kitty this is coco this is her son cecil y'all are fixing to get a new tower yes you are do you want to go outside you can go outside do you want to go outside and play no you gonna stay in the ac okay Oh, Cecil's going. Kitty, you want to go? I call them both Kitty Kitty. You going to stay inside? <laughs> She's not sure. I show sure enough here a cricket in here. <laughs> That's for sure. So I ordered my curtains for in here. Uh, white curtains will go all the way to the floor. What else did I order? I ordered the cat tower. I ordered, I can't remember what else I ordered. My gosh, I ordered so much stuff. So I wanna update you on Willis Jr. and let you know how he's doing. Here he is, still standing crazy. He fell over yesterday. He fell over the day before. Um. The vet said he's sitting like that because he's in pain. Hey, baby, you want some food? Hmm? He's in pain. I feel like he's not in, there he goes. You see him try to fall over. Um, <laughs> she keeps going the camera. Sugar bug. But I feel, I mean, I, you know, you can't tell if a rabbit's in pain or not, really. I mean, I guess, if I sat here and seeing him stand like that, it's kind of crazy because see how she sits? See how she sits and then look at him. <laughs> Sugar book. <laughs> but I don't see a lot of improvements. Now he told me to give it two weeks, but I really don't know what to do, y'all. I guess I'm just gonna wait the two weeks and see what happens. Take him back to the vet and just, I mean, it's, it's so hard because he's eating and drinking, you know? If it's, <laughs> sugar bug. I have got to buy some new, look, they got holes, the wire's coming out. This is like I showed you last video. This is what it looks like in the morning. So I clean this up at least three times a day. At least. This is Fluffy May. Hey, Fluff. She was my first rabbit ever. 
she is probably four years old. Sugar Bug's not even a year old. I do need to update you on the education center. We, no, we didn't. Kayla got the couch put together, the two chairs and the two ottomans. It's looking really good. We're having to put it in the center of the room right now because I haven't submitted the eviction notice to Shane yet. I, I've got to get Shane to move all of this, but he's about to get an eviction notice. I feel like this is junk, but he says it's not junk, that he needs it. But eventually, once all of this is moved, the couch and everything will go over here in this area right here. Now, we do have this left. I told you guys last time I cleared it off. This will be where my incubators will go. And Shane's got to finish putting tin there. And also down here, and then that will be completed. So we've been out loving on animals, and these guys are over here putting up this for the peacocks. It's gonna be so nice. I think they'll roost on it, I'm hoping. <laughs> but it's not quite put together yet, but almost. All right, it's up. We got a monkey in the cage. <laughs> still, this is our permit. This is my new pet. <laughs> I'm still in jail. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get one of these peacocks and see if they'll go on there. I'm gonna try. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, just All right, we got two weenies. I mean, the three weenies. I got the three weenies. And we're headed to Larry's. Didn't throw your stuff away before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find. I'm standing right here.